my name is Eddie Toffey. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of the Chicago Soybean Complex. I'll start with Chicago soybeans themselves. Now, beans in the teens and holding. The weekly bearish shooting star pattern, type 1, bearish obviously, that formed two weeks ago was the apex of the market. I have to say the market reaching up and fulfilling targets X, X1 and X2, the recent targets for the doubling bull channel um, and the two targets for the measured move up, well reaching up and fulfilling them and then slamming straight down again with a gapping lower move, well I have to admit it was satisfying to see. I will remove all the targets after this commentary. Anyway back to last week's action. The gapping move lower continued until it started entering once again from the top side the original now broken bull channel currently 1404 to 1495. We did have a gap from May to well between May around about May 2014 between 1459 and 1467 but I don't think that influenced the slowing of the decline. Rather it was three factors fairly close together and one of which seems to have finally halted the fall and perhaps even started a small move back up. They were the rising short medium moving average uh, that's currently at 1466. The broken and yet to be reassigned August 2020 to date uptrend currently at 1477. Plus most importantly the rising medium moving average currently 1430. Now this last one was not breached nor broken and the market studiously avoided testing it yesterday and today. Further below was the lower bull channel line of course, uh, currently at 1404, but this was a, a, little too, a little too far to be of influence right now. Okay, so what is next? Well, I mentioned last week that whilst there was no immediate pattern evident in the recent action, there was still a possibility of a bearish bump and run reversal top formed throughout 2021 so far. I qualified this by adding, and I quote, but as early as yet on this idea, it would very much depend on the market reaching the lower bull channel and on what it did once it managed to get there, if at all. End of quote. I still stand by this concept, and the only caveat I'd add, caveat I'd add is that we might just see the nascent pullback we seem to be developing now, possibly halting in the region of the now broken upper bull channel line currently at 1495. I'm not certain but it would be an interesting thing to try and do. Chicago soybean meal. The weekly key reversal seems somewhat late here compared to both uh, soybeans and soybean oil failed two weeks ago. That's a weekly key reversal up. And that's after satisfyingly managing to reach up and fulfill target X target for the April to May measured move higher at 445. I say satisfying as it looks that the market did the very minimum to fulfill the move higher before turning back down again. Down through all the moving averages, the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 423 and a half and with a final flurry punching down through the long moving a eh? long moving average, the last one left, with an immediate countering key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern. However, though this broke the back of the long moving average, it nevertheless caused a bullish move yesterday. A possible bullish counter to the counter hammer pattern. Unfortunately, this is one of those patterns that we only learn about later as being important, and by later I mean a few days or weeks afterwards. Nevertheless, the reason it exists is because it was a reaction to a too close approach to the combination of the 50% Fibonacci line of the August 2020 to January 2021 move at 376.60 and the low that started the move back up then in 2020 at 375 and a half. Now there is one other key feature which I wish to discuss and which I also spoke about last week. We are set into the criteria for there to be a monthly key reversal in May. If the market closes above either 426.20 or below 424.70 then we'd be on. Right now we are looking at a possible monthly key reversal down, but I will not call for it for sure until next week, which is also obviously next month. A final postscript. You may have noticed that I haven't drawn any bearish Andrews or Shift pitchforks for the recent action throughout 2021. The reason that neither would add anything, I may just clutter up the picture. 
But I have to admit, the bearish shift pitchfork for that does have some merit. Ah, we'll see. Chicago soybean oil. The mid-January to end of March bullish Andrews pitchfork yet again continues to run this market despite its inauspicious start. The most recent effort has been the dip below the middle time currently at 64.16, down to the 2011 high at 61 even and then moving sideways with gradually building in decision between the high that I mentioned and the overhead lower time. Now, we may well be building a possible bear flag with the last two weeks action. I won't deny it. It has some aspects of that pattern. However, it is a little too early as yet to say for certain, though a proposed target not marked on the daily chart would either be in the 57 and a half area or 56 and three quarter area, depending how thick your crayon is. Anyways, until such an event should happen, should it happen, we have still below a congestion band from 2011 and 2012 between 57.64 and 59.73. I'd just like to remind you of one piece of commentary from last week and I quote, Now, this move lower since last Friday doesn't mean the market isn't still bullish. Of course it is. It's still in between the middle and upper tines of the same bullish Andrews pitchfork. But a period of reflection here and maybe looking to see what pattern or action is to come next would be a reasonable idea, end of quote. All that has happened, all that has actually changed, is that we are now in between the middle and lower time. The lower time is currently 58.71 of the very same bullish Andrews pitchfork. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.